Brothers, welcome back to Cosmeteer. Now you may notice we have a second ship. That ship we found, we tried to make it into a industrial ship. I played around with it a little bit. Right now, two ships doesn't seem that helpful. So I'm actually gonna transfer everybody back. Let's get them all back on the main ship. We'll go ahead and abandon ship right now. Send everybody back. I'm gonna scrap this for parts. Make it so, get all that back. Now it's all on the ground so we can come over here. And put that into our main ship. We're going to want more storage on the main ship. We're going to want a lot of things on the main ship. So let's go into the blueprint mode, see what we can do here. Okay, so this is kind of the final design I want to do. Now, I don't have all the materials to do this upgrade right now. I was about able to build half of it. So we do have the ammunition factory online. We're just gaining the last of the sulfur to be able to build our own ammunition. And I think that'll be good. Okay, now that we've got that sorted out of the way, we just need to go take on these pirates. There'll be about two or three of them probably over here, so let's see what that looks like. And we do need one more roaming pirate to get that mission out of the way. I'm not sure if these guys, I don't think they'll count as roaming pirates, but we'll see what they look like. Okay, we got two of them. That one looks like it's a station, so let's try and move down here. And avoid the stations that we can take them on one by one. I'm not really that concerned. We do have so much firepower right now. This is an absurd amount of firepower for a ship at this level. So it is going to be an easy clap regardless of what we do, but we can always play it smarter so we don't take too much damage. So let's just go straight into this guy. He's going to go back up, so we'll just wait for him right here. And here he comes back. There he is. It's an effigy. Okay, so let's take out the effigy. Let's just shoot straight through it. The, the storage is in the back, which is going to be really good for us. Big damage. Big damage right away. The mining lasers involved. You love to see an industrial list at work. And we take out the effigy, no problem. So we'll mark this as a wreck. We're going to be able to see it, but just in case we do miss it. It does happen sometimes. The second one looks like it's a station. It hasn't moved at all. So we'll keep an eye on that. We'll go charge into it see what it looks like. And as we approach, it is a station. It's, ooh, you're giving me the cockpit right up front. We love that. Now, two of the, two of the uh, cannons are not being armed right now. We just need a little bit more people to operate this. That's kind of the deficit of that so we'll just keep firing into it we get the station out the way we'll collect all of its goodies and as soon as we melt through all of the armor i'm gonna see if i can do upgrades to add a little bit more storage on the other side make things more symmetrical let's see what we need we need 420 we have 371 so i think once we go through all of this we'll be fine let's just make sure you sure we can't do it yeah we can't do it so let's cut back our design a little bit and that'll help there we go there we go. Now we have more storage and we'll collect nothing in space because we used it all. Go back to this wreck and really be able to grab all of this. So that'll be very helpful for us. And voila. And then we'll add that armor back on and really kind of start to form the dreadnought. Right now we just need to collect supplies and money. It's going to cost a lot to get those big deck cannons and as soon as we have that we're going to completely redesign this. So. Let's go back to this uranium, grab the rest of that, and then probably go over here. I think this is another space station that's in trouble. And uh, I think we'll get a little bit of rewards for that, but... Ooh, we are not moving fast now. 36. We're going to need more firepower, more cannon, or more thrusters. Okay, so we traded in all of our goods. We bought more staff. We're up to 47 now from 41. And now we're going to try this pirate base again. If we do this right, this is going to net us an absolute absurd amount of resources. I'm going to show you how to do it here. Basically, we need to be in radar range and just kind of wait for a minute. But I will show you all of that when we get there. Uh, we are still moving very slowly. Didn't have the money for thrusters. Hopefully we will after this, but I'll see you guys there. Okay, so we have triggered the event. The pirates are attacking the space station and we're gonna set the periphery for a little bit. Let them do more damage. The more damage the space station takes, the more it drops. And that's how we're gonna become insanely rich off of this. So all we're gonna do here is sit, wait a little bit, and then we'll go in on the pirates, take them out one by one, save the station, but then collect all the due rewards from it. Okay, now it is time to go in. This is a candle wick. This is a very strong ship. It fires an intense laser beam. This is the strongest one that's going to be attacking the space station. So it's the most important to take out. I'm glad we found it first. So we will need to take out this laser beam. It's going to be able to punch through our shield, which makes it even more dangerous. And it is rather fast. 
So I did fortunately add on a little bit more engines prior to this. I sold some more stuff. I just wasn't feeling confident about this fight without the engine. So we're able to start pushing through it. We only need a couple more hits to take out that laser beam. But as you can see, it's very resilient and it's punching through. Finally, we get him done. Okay, so let's mark this on the map. Make sure we know where that wreck is and move on to the next one. Okay, next up is this Sirius ship. It's going to be less of a threat than the one we were facing, but we're also fighting the space station at the same time. So we're going to get a quick couple of volleys in on the Sirius and then go after the platform itself. Hopefully these ones land. He is firing disruptors, so our shields are down. The laser beam is firing us. I'm trying not to get too turned around. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, huge disaster. Um, the laser beam is about to hit the reactor in the back. Oh, no, my gosh. Please. Oh, I think we just avoided a near disaster. We were able to damage the Sirius enough that he's not gonna be able to move. So let's go and attack this platform and take out it out as it's firing another strong laser beam. The Sirius is gonna have to deal with some of our armor on the back. He's gonna be attacking our engines. There's nothing we can really do about that, but this platform is an absolute threat right now. Just to take it, take out the weapon and then we can turn around and fight the Sirius. It's not that bad, it's not that bad. Just keep telling yourself that. Okay, we got that out the way. Mark that as a wreck. Ooh, we are pushing it here. Okay, turn around, fight the Sirius again. He's still got a couple weapons. This small EMP platform is not going to be a damage, but that was a big damage maker right there. We have taken a substantial amount of damage to our engines. We have lost power. Have we lost anybody? Maybe. I don't think so, actually. Okay. Heroic effort. Heroic effort. Look at all this debris, though. Okay. Last but not least, mark that and go into this guy. We are still technically in combat, so we cannot repair. Oh, we're not in combat. Awesome. Repair. Okay, now we got all of our engines back. We can take out this EMP platform, which is not going to do a lot of damage. Target the cockpit. Yes. One more big volley. There we go. Okay, good. So we got that out the way. We'll mark this as a wreck. Go here, collect our reward from this. Oh, man. We barely got here in time. Look at this. We waited way too long. Hey, all. <laughs> hello. Um, I'm here to collect payments. Thank you. Okay, let's in, um, see if we can unlock something. Any blueprints that we need. Let's pause the game so nobody comes over here and steals this stuff while we're looking. Could I get a medium reactor core? I'm going to go ahead and get... Ah, that's pretty expensive, actually. Control room. Interesting. That will give us more command points. We actually need more command points, so I think we have to buy that. And... How much until the deck? Pretty far, pretty far. Okay, so let's take all of this and completely redesign the ship. We have so much steel here, this is going to be easy. Alrighty, so we are back. We have a huge new design, this ugly beetle we are building, but again, it's going to be a ship of the line. So eventually we're going to kind of reorient and go kind of skinny on the sides and big deck cannons on the back. But what I added is I added the scaffolding to kind of protect myself from the sides. Got to make sure that's directed. I added walkways everywhere. I added three point defense systems on either side, I two shields, and then another row of cannons. So let's see what we need. To operate this, we need 85 people. Now, we do have room for all 85 people. So, let's just give this a minute to kind of reconfigure, see where everybody is. And, okay. So, we don't have anybody to really defend against the, the sides. We do have an excessive amount of coils. So, let's try and sell some of those off. Take up all these bounties. We might have completed one already. Yes, we did. Okay. Oh, we completed two. So give me money. Give me money. And invest that all in the crew as soon as we get that. It's going to take a second for the new missions to go through. There's a mission complete. 5,000. And... 49. Alright, so let's test this guy out. See how fast it moves. 26 is not going to get it done. So we need to go back and get more cannons. Or more engines. Okay, so we are a chunky boy. We've got more engines. Hopefully those will be powered on shortly and we can kind of miss a uh, Get a little bit more power for ourselves. Now. This is a bit of a walk for these guys So 
We do have two engine rooms back here dedicated, but unfortunately nobody's in them. We do just need to get more people. So let's uh, sell some of our stuff that we have excess of because we have more of it to go. Let's see what we have too much of. Way too many hyper coils, way too many coils in general. Let's take that down to 300. Let's take this down to 400. Let's take this down to 402. Diamonds, we're going to keep absolutely. Sulfur, we need. Okay, initiate the trade. 67,000. Huge. Huge, 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 huge. Let's get back to the ship a little bit. Or to the station so we can do this quicker. This is going to take a while. This is so much money, but this is what I'm talking about. When you take out the space station, you get so much money. And now we can really just go up, gather around more of the stuff. Push the space station. Turn! Turn! Oh my goodness, this is a stupid thing. No, stop doing this. Okay, well, we're able to get that all regardless. We need more turning ability. Okay, that one's gone. That one's gone. We got this one still, and that one down there. Okay, so this thing gets caught on everything. But let's go to a space station that has people, hire as many people as we can to get this thing as operational as possible before we go into it. 40 is okay. 40, I think, is going to be good enough. But we want to make sure that when we start combat, we're not running out of we're not running out of people to do things. And I think that's going to be really important. So we'll go down here and grab as much more people as we can. We will also want to invest in a bigger reactor. I think that's going to be huge for us, especially in the back there and then the front. I think that's going to be a big thing for us. We could also potentially start getting deck cannons, but we'll look at that here in a minute. Okay, so we're able to hire up to 57 people. Still not quite enough for what we want. We do have not that much empty storage left. We got a lot of cannons still, which is good. So let's see if we were fame capped out on that one or if we can still get more people. But you see, we get stuck on literally everything. This is so frustrating. Please stop. Please stop doing this. Please stop. Okay, just hail, just hail, just hail. Oh my gosh. Let's get a blueprint. Let's get a medium reactor. Let's get the deck cannon. We also could use an engine room. Okay, let's see if we can build any of that. Okay, so now we have the engine rooms in. The engines rooms increase the efficiency of the engines. They do have to be touching, so let's actually move these two down here. And unfortunately, it's not symmetrical down here, so I'm having to do this all individually, but that is okay. We could actually get the three engine a little bit closer to and increase its in uh its efficiency as well so that'll be really nice for us let's go ahead and do that again mirroring down here is just not a thing that exists it's kind of a little bit messed up right now but that is okay in fact we could probably get all three of these bottom engines in as well if we move this one over this one over and then this one back okay so that one now touches as well so that is going to be my priority and we will just go ahead and get rid of all of the bottom stuff here now, unfortunately, the three engines is now hitting the main engine, so I'm actually gonna move those back, and then that will be our final design. We will need Tritarium to get this done, so I'm gonna be searching around for that, and we'll come back when we have all of that. Okay, so we are maxed out on crew. Let's try and get the last of the Tritarium here. Yes, we can. Okay, we need 18, so we that's gonna be good enough. As soon as we have that, we will do some more designs. Make that so, that's going to be huge. And then let's go into Blueprint, extend these scaffoldings. I really like the scaffolding look, it kind of looks like a beetle. All right, the scarab beetle is complete. We have a lot of protection. Now these things are not going to do a lot of good in terms of overall protection, but they will slow down hits and that's all we're looking for at the time being. So let's go, let's go hunt. Oh, hello. Oh, this is the last roaming one we need. Oh no, we got stuck. Come on, get off. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. We get caught on everything. Stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop doing this. Just back up, just back up, I swear, just, we'll be back. <laughs> oh my God, we're free, we're free. Okay, we're free, okay, gosh. This thing needs more turns. Oh, I could do that, I just really don't wanna right now. We don't have the crew for it either, so no need for it. Okay, we're going at 54, so we're really rocketing now, just adding that extra, oh gosh, very aggressive. Okay, there's two of them right here. So we need to really be turn, baby turn. Yeah, we need more turning abilities here, but this is fine. This is fine. 
return at a decent rate right now. Let's hopefully not bring the third one in. If we can avoid that, that'll be super helpful, but there's no way around getting after these first two. And we do have an asteroid that kind of protects us, so let's see what they look like. This is a haywire, this is a fanged, both things we fought before. The fanged is gonna be easier to take out. So let's take out that, fire away. Show me some hits. Big misses, big misses. Okay, we got an engine, so they're gonna be a lot slower. Yeah, dodge that, buddy. Oh, love that. Okay, now let's go into the haywire. So, we definitely need more stopping power. Because this is gonna hurt us. Yep, that hurt us. Right there, just being so close to that explosion. So let's go ahead and mark the two. Wreck. And wreck. And go finish off the third one. Yeah, we definitely need some more back power engines. That's That really hurt us right there. I think I might add them back here a little bit. Because worst case scenario, I'd rather have the back engines be hit than the front engines. So we can potentially still run away and pursue. So let's go after our buddy right here. This is our last point of contact. And then after this one, we will... Oh, that one's done. Oh, this is just a renegade. Oh, we need this guy, though. We need this roaming guy. This is a roaming pirate. Let's see if we can catch him. We just need to get away from the asteroids. Yep, we're going to catch him. We're going so fast now. He can't stop us. Okay, we really have problems turning. We really have problems turning. Uh, it's the hyperdrive. Don't need to go after that. The cockpit's what we're going to be after. So let's fire. The flat cannons are going out, which is great. Those are being manned. Yep, destroy that missile. Perfect. So they can't do that. Yeah, this, this is going to be really helpful for missiles. Just protecting the ship further than the shields and having to rely on the shields being placed in the proper way. Oh, this guy's like dead in the water already. Yeah, that's a big hit. These ones are going to do a lot of damage. I really want those deck guns. Oh, that's going to be massive when we get those. There we go. Okay, so we've got that one out. We got two of two of the payments. So two missions done. Let's go ahead and collect all of this garbage. We're stuck. This ship, man, this ship, it is the worst. Look at this, turn around. <laughs> okay, let's enter blueprint. Will that help? No, we're stuck. Okay, thank God, thank God, thank God. Just back away. Okay, engines are such a problem. We need to fix that. There we go. Okay, that was really needed. That's super ugly. And this is a very inefficient design, having people have to walk all the way back here. This reactor also needs to get bigger. We're running out of power. So we'll mine these two and see if we can afford a bigger reactor. Okay, what do we need for the big reactor? We have the money for it. We just need the space for it. It's an odd thing, which is... Ugh, I hate them when they're odd. I want them to all be like the same size. I might even just buy the big reactor so I can just have it right there. Um... I think it's more pivotal. Here, we can put this here. We can get rid of this, make this a quarter. We also add a lot of fire extinguishers for safety. If there's a fire on the ship, things get bad. Okay, that's going to be good enough. Let's also add another door here and here and take away this door. Okay, that's going to be fine. Okay, now we're going to be able to turn. Let's go turn to those missions. Ooh, what a disaster. What a disaster the ship is. Well, we almost have the deck guns. And deck guns are going to change our lives. You just wait. You just wait. Get our money. That's 82. That's 49. That's huge. Right now, we, have, we need 92 people. We have enough room for them. We just need more fame. So we just need to keep ta attacking all these pirates. So we'll be back after we attack a lot of these guys. Oh, God, we're stuck again. Okay, we're free. We're free. <laughs> All right, we'll be back.
So we completed a couple missions. We're up to 70,000. <laughs> but one thing about this thing is it really carries things with it. And here's a battle that we won earlier <laughs> that we need to collect all this stuff from because uh, we brought them all the way back with us to the station. We literally brought them all the way back from over here. All right. Anyways, we'll get these last two. And we'll come back. Okay, so that's a big lesson for us. We are not fast enough. We need longer range weapons. So I think I might invest in a couple of laser beams just for situations like that. Cause this guy almost killed us just by his sheer speed and able to, ability to back up. Let's go collect these wrecks over here. See what we can do. Yeah, that was an ugly, ugly battle. I did not want to fight that guy, but that's gonna be the kind of fighters we fight next. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's grab all of this stuff. Move over here, grab this stuff. See what this question mark is. Ooh, it's gold. How much gold you got? Not a lot, not a lot, that's okay. Any gold's worth it. Okay, so 89,000, that's what we got working with us. After doing all those missions, the last thing I wanna unlock is the Disruptor. So let's unlock this, get the Disruptor. This is going to be really useful for when we're fighting people with shields. Now, for right now, I think we are still fine. I don't believe we can get any more crew. I think our are so fame capped. Nope, we can get more. Excellent. Let's hire all of those. 59 is going to be better. We still need to be around 92, so we're pretty short on that. But that's okay for the time being. Let's go ahead and see what we have. We have way too much sulfur. We have way too much iron. We have a lot of coils. So let's try and get rid of some of this stuff. And let's see, sulfur. Let's go down to, let's go down to twenty. Oh wait, no, 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 don't do that. Reset. Okay. Twenty. Twenty. We oh, we can sell all of our gold. That's gonna be worth a lot. We'll buy his triterium. We'll sell a little bit more of the coils and sell more of the plates. There's another thirty thousand in progress. That's gonna be nice to have. Ooh, that feels good. Okay, so with that, let's look at uh, what we need. The railgun would be nice. The bridge is something we're gonna need eventually. Huge thrusters is actually gonna be something that we could use. Let's in fact invest in the huge thrusters right now. So let's see what those look like. Huge thrusters. Okay, it looks like we can fit two. So let's go ahead and do that. How much is that going to cost us? Valid blueprints because these things are now in the way. Oh, okay. That's going to be a problem. Okay, so I'll be back. I got some I got some work to do. All right, this is going to have to do for right now. We are capped. We need more triterium. That's going to be something we'll find probably in the next system. So let's finish off the episode in style, taking out the pirate base. This is going to be quite the challenge. So I will see you guys. Oh, we're stuck again. Why are we stuck? No, we're not stuck. Just move over to the side a little bit. Okay, I'll see you there. Okay, first thing we're fighting is a bouncer. This is actually a pretty beefy guy. Let's try and go straight for his reactor. Give some big cannons. Now, fortunately, he's gonna wanna be in our range as well because he has similar weapon types. So this is gonna be good. These volleys are gonna count. The point defense is really gonna make up a lot. Hopefully we can get it done. But we've really pushed through already. We've destroyed all of his weapons. He's dead. Okay, one dead. On to the next. There's a sentinel. We're already engaged. Turn! Turn, my behemoth! Okay, we are able to get the point defense off on that. Here comes another rocket. Shoot it! Got it. Okay, here comes another one. Got it. Okay, we're gonna be flanked really shortly, so we need to take out this guy fast. Big attacks, big attacks. Please land. Please land all your attacks. What is this? This is just the hyperdrive. Go for the... Go for his, uh... This is a very heavily defended ship. 
We really need to push through his to get to his cockpit. We are getting attacked in the back. That's okay. That's what this stuff's for. It's protecting us for the short run. He has to be directly behind us in order to do any damage. So he's not, he's taking out this, the armor, but that's not a concern right now. We're able to push through this guy. We got him. Okay, now we need to turn, fight the Sentinel. Mark this as another wreck. Okay, turn. Hopefully we don't pull another one. Nope, we're good. Okay. This is another Sentinel. But we have the damage. Our shields are holding. As long as people are attacking us from the front, we're generally fine. Now this is going to change when we fight harder enemies, but for right now, we're doing okay. Got him. Okay, those are... Yeah, we got that. Repair. Mark this as a wreck. And we'll continue onwards into the pirate base. Alright, so this is the defense platform. Easy peasy, just go for the reactor. His point defense is going to do a lot of damage against us. That's okay. Yeah, you can't defend against the laser, though. Got it. All right, now we're facing the actual base. This is going to be a challenge. It's firing a lot of rockets. I'm glad we invested in the point defense. Note to self, we need more point defense. We're firing into the debris, which is really unhelpful. Let's try and turn a little bit. Get out of the debris. We're out of ammo. Back away. Okay. Repair. That was very expensive. Okay, reload the cannons. We're gonna need this cannon maker. We'll probably have a second cannon maker. I didn't realize we were completely out of ammo when we did that. Ooh, we've used a lot of our reserves in this fight. This is gonna be quite the challenge. While we're here, we don't really have the stuff to make an upgrade, so... Let's try and take out this base over here. The second... Missile launcher. Let's go into this guy. And let's set our default range a little bit farther. Yeah, let's set it there. Okay. Okay, we got that one out of the way. Now we just need to once again take on this guy. We have a good angle on him where he can't fire a lot of his weapons. So we'll just keep firing. We'll back off when we need to. I don't want to be in these quarter sections where we can get double fired, so currently we're only getting attacked by one. Let's in fact destroy the cannons that are attacking us. I think that'll be a helpful thing as we do lose three people, so we are getting taking some hits again. Let's back away. Okay, let's repair. Okay, let's go back at him. Okay, we got that one out the way. Let's get the second big cannon out the way. Oh, cannons are out of ammo. We're out of sulfur too. Okay, this is such a big battle. We, we'll, we'll mark this down as a, as a learning experience. Let's go get more ammo. Okay, now we've got something to work with here. We added a flak bat, two flak batteries, and this rail gun. I think this is gonna do a lot of damage here. We're going to need a bigger reactor here, so let's in fact see if we can squeeze that in somewhere. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a challenge, so I'm not done. Actually, I'm going to go into blueprint mode. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay. We are now up and running. We have two flat cannons. We have the rail gun. That's going to do a ton of damage. I had to go around ciphering off Triterium. This, though, is going to do pack a punch and allow us to be a little bit more farther away distance-wise from this pirate base. So we're going to go back into them with our new weapon. And eventually this railgun is going to go all the way back. So very excited about that. It does increase our crew count. Now we need 111. And we are stuck again. Not again. Oh, we're really wedged. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're free. We're free. You know what? I'm going to fix this. I'm not dealing with this problem again. Okay, now we shouldn't get caught anymore. Let's go try out the pirate base again. All right, we're at maximum range. I think we're in range of the railgun. Let's let's test it out. There it goes. Oh, big damage, big damage. Yep, 
Let's just watch that happen again. They're gonna have to reload it every single time with uranium in every single little port. So this will take, there it goes, big hit. Big hit, this is why we have it though. Yes! Now, when we're fighting regular battles, I think I'm gonna turn this offline, but let's actually get a little bit closer so we can test all of our weapons out. Let's take out the big cannons. Let's see how the flak's doing. Yeah, the flak is stopping all of it from coming in. This is great. Take out the other one. Now, the railgun can only fire in a straight line, which is its biggest disadvantage. But taking out this pirate base is going to be worth a lot. In fact, let's focus on this. We punched a hole through to the core. Amazing. That's going to be worthwhile. How much did we take damage-wise? Not a lot. Let's grab all of this stuff. That's going to be worth a lot. Now, one thing I did want to do is make this a solid walkway so people didn't have to go through stuff. And uh, let's grab as much as we can. Hello, the hero has here come here to collect his reward. It's still a net negative, but it gets us a little bit closer to where we want to be. Let's hire more crew. And we're back, kind of back down to where we started. Now, we'll see what we can do on this front. Uh, how much, what does the deck guns take? They take Triterium. Okay. That's unfortunate. I'd love to move everything back and have just the flat cannons and then the uh, armor up in front of all of this to have the deck guns. That's my, that's my goal, but we'll see how that goes. All right, that takes care of the pirate base. Next episode, we'll be moving on to another section, but thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you've made this far in the video. If you haven't made this far in the video, hey, you give it a thumbs up, really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day, but boys, I will see you in the next one.